Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Uh, it's been a while since I've done like a little speculation video, like a sit down speculation video, but today, today's speculation video is on Dragon's Apprentice at Legoland Windsor. So, just a bit of backstory to Dragon's Apprentice. Uh, it opened at Legoland Windsor in 1999. It is a WGH Transportation Engineering roller coaster. Uh, it's been open for 21 years as of 2020. And um, if you remember, just before Legoland Windsor announced they were going to be reopening for the 2020 season, you might remember me saying that when they announced what rides would reopen with the park, that Dragon's Apprentice would be closed for a refurbishment. Now, it has recently come to light that this refurbishment of Dragon's Apprentice wasn't actually planned. So, pretty much their refurbishment is technically a, an emergency refurbishment. So, that means something's happened to the ride over the years to cause this emergency refurbishment to happen. Now, recently, pictures have come to light of some of the work that they've done. Now the work they've done, um, at the top of the ride, uh, the main sort of theming element, uh, something had fallen onto the castle and it caused quite a lot of damage. Uh, but the most interesting thing is that obviously scaffolding has gone around the whole ride and a decent amount of track has been removed as well this being the first section of track after the ride uh, after the lift hill that's been taken down now I don't know why it's been taken down whether this is for access reasons or what but it is interesting to see the speculate because you gotta think Dragon's Apprentice is 21 years old it's an old coaster. Obviously, the main dragon has been open for 22 years. But I think, if anything, both coasters, both the dragon and Dragon's Apprentice, is in need of a slight refurbishment. If I'm directly honest. Now, it's hard to speculate what they're going to do. Now, me personally... I know Dragon's Apprentice is a family coaster and it's for those who can't ride the dragon as of yet. But I think it's time that they replaced it, in my opinion. I think Dragon's Apprentice is one of those rides that I think could have been made by a different manufacturer. I think I think it would be nice if we had a new ride in that area to freshen up the area. Um, obviously with this new area that's opening next year as well um, but it, there's a, a question which has come up recently within the community is um, is this the end of uh, Dragon's Apprentice or the Knight's Kingdom area or could the area be expanded using a large amount of space like it behind Dragon's Apprentice now I'm going to be honest I think we might be seeing another coaster coming to Knight's Kingdom. But I think we're going to see something bigger than um, than the Dragon. Obviously, the thing about Dragon's Apprentice and the Dragon is that they're both made by the same manufacturer. They're both WGH Transportation. Now, I'm going to be totally honest. If they are going to build another coaster to expand on the Knights Kingdom area, I'd like to see a Vacoma Family Boomerang. Something a bit like Velociraptor at Poulton's. I think that would look pretty cool. I think, and also, I think that would fit quite well into the area. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about uh, some of the track being removed, and what do you think they're going to be doing to, uh, to Dragon's Apprentice? And do you think it's going to reopen in 2021? I think it might. I think it will, but it will probably be maybe an Easter opening instead of like a March opening. Anyway, guys, 
let me know what you think down below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Because at 400 subscribers, I'm dying my hair blue. So if you want to see my hair blue, then hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.